Funny man right here in studio. His Netflix special can be viewed right here and right now. Nick Thune, folk hero. Welcome to the show. Nick, yeah, how are you, brother? Thank you. I'm good. Good to see you. People should wait till after this segment to flip on Netflix. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a multi screen world. Yeah, they could do, okay. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, we're, we're available on, on connected devices, mm -hmm. they say now. Yeah. You know, like, you can watch it on your phone. So they but could I'm, be watching basically both these. They ones. could be doing right now, hopefully they're watching us on a television and a phone, or they're doing something. Somebody's mm -hmm. on Twitter somewhere. I like to know? do, yeah, when I have a TV show on, I also have it streaming on my phone as I walk through rooms, and I've got three different TVs set up. Yep. Yeah. And you're live tweeting at the same yeah. time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you can do that. <laughs> you can work that. So, uh, Nick, you are from the beautiful Pacific Northwest, correct? I am. Does that yeah. make you somebody who's still in mourning over the Super Bowl? Is that what that makes you? Or Yeah. I actually spoke with my brother last night for the first time since the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And it really has been like I haven't called him because of the pain. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, is that for real, or are we just touching a third rail about no, the food? No, I, I, like, I, they asked, somebody was asking, did you go to the game? I don't go to those games. Like, I didn't, I had tickets to the Rose Bowl, and we're ducks. Uh-huh. My dad came down, helped me move. We sold the tickets. We don't go to those games. Why, because you're superstitious? You think you'll no, blow it? No, because we get angry. We get really angry, and we yell, and there's, it's been a contention in our family because we're Blazer fans. I mean, every team that we've ever really gotten behind is the type of team that you yell at a lot. Right. Um, the Mariners, the, the Blazers, not the Ducks. I mean, the Ducks, obviously, have kind of been the only thing that helped us get through. Right. And now the Seahawks. Um, but I broke a chair on my deck after the game, and that wasn't like me with rage. That was like how hard I sat down on that chair. <laughs> <laughs> the chair broke. Yeah. No kidding. No, yeah. So, I know if you met Chris Brockman, uh, mm -hmm. one of our producers here, he got um, kicked out of a rec league here in town because he took a ball and you threw it or kicked it? I th well, did you I kick, kick it blue a, chip style? There was style? a separate kicking incident that did mm -hmm. not get me thrown out. What, out of, so what got you kicked out of this basketball? The throwing league? the ball against the exit sign. And breaking an exit sign in, in, a, in a middle school, right, Law? At a, at a middle school. So it's well, possible that children could not find the proper exit during because a fire drill. It was a fire drill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of something. The two doors wouldn't give it away. They had to look at the side. Now, do you respect that? Just knowing well, my, what you my, just... My grandmother was kicked out of a croquet league. Um, <laughs> so it was a pretty similar story. With a, um, a mallet situation? She was dealing with dementia, so it's a little different. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but my brother, actually, he was a basketball player. I have twin brothers. They're five years younger. Yes. And the one that was a basketball player was like the Dennis Rodman of the town okay. in Redmond, Washington. And, and he got kicked out of multiple games. And he was the bruiser. He punched people in games. He threw balls at refs. And it was exciting to watch. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it was really fun. But so he's, he's, he's now, now a cop. Oh, I was, about to, yeah. I was about to say, he's either in law enforcement or he's attempting to bridge the yeah. gap between the U.S. and North Korea, being the Dennis Rodman. My, he's my grandmother. He learned a lot from her. <laughs> Nick Thune is here uh, on The Rich Eisen Show. Nick Thune, folk hero, available on Netflix. You can also catch uh, Nick on At Midnight every now and then on Comedy Central, Comedy Bang Bang, The Tonight Show, Conan. So, um... Are you, does that make you a, a Gonzaga fan? Is it a no, Zaga? my brother-in-law is a Gonzaga. He went there, big Gonzaga fan. I okay. mean, basically, let me put it this way. Sure. Any team that's not the Mariners, the Dodgers, the Blazers, mm -hmm. or the Ducks can die. Okay. I don't play fantasy sports because I don't believe in anybody that's not on my teams. I never want to root for anybody else. There's a lot of rage. Yeah, I can see it right now. <laughs> There's a lot of rage. But so then did the Seattle Seahawks winning the Super Bowl calm some of these waters? Yeah, it was a year of bliss. It was an absolute year of walking around, and every time I went somewhere, somebody would shake my hand. They'd right. Because I've I got all the gear. Right. When you walk around Seattle, too, I mean, actually, Green Bay's kind of like this, but I go to a lot of cities during, you know, sports championships. Okay. Or just throughout the seasons, and you'll never see any city where more people are supporting a team. Right. Like walking around, just the cop, like people at Starbucks are wearing Seahawks uniforms. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could see the twelves in the windows and mm -hmm. things like. Uh, things and I know like there's a lot of bandwagon fans, but we'll take bandwagon. Well, fans. Well, why not? Yeah, I mean, certainly the, every every mm -hmm. team's got a bandwagon fan. Yeah, we're so. looking good for next year. Well, what about well? well I mean, we got Graham. We got you like that, yeah. right? And you like <laughs> nine you, out of ten at the at the goal line, right? You've got. Well, and obviously, as you know, there was a red zone situation you'd like to have back. Yeah. So yeah. you got Graham. But that kid Chris Matthews played very well in the Super he Bowl. He did. Well, he's he, Thune tall. He's the one that brought, I mean, that kick. 
Isn't he the one that pulled in the... Um... He's the one who grabbed the onside kick. That's the thing, is that if that game didn't end that way, people would be yelling at Belichick, why didn't you call a timeout? Oh, there's no question. If it, uh, and it was really just, it was a bad pass, you know, that that one guy knew. He was already running for the ball. They'd worked on that play. Now, he couldn't a bad, even believe. I just want to make sure, because you're here uh, on the show, and, and your family is watching. And I love Russell Wilson. And it was a bad pass. I was about pass. to say, so you're playing, it, it wasn't a, the, the play call, you're, you're saying Here's it's where Russell. the pass was. Yeah. Yeah. Here is where the pass should have been. Here Left or hit. here. Right. Just drop him on the ground. Or incomplete pass, now we got time. That's, you know, or it's a loft in the corner, which I, I think like it we, should have been. I feel like we should be on the part of the set with a couch for you I, to be lying down <laughs> and me there with a notebook. <laughs> Tell me more about your February, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about this where is, this, this comes from. This has come up in therapy, yeah. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. Well, look, the bottom line is that they are, they, they've got the right coach, they've got the right GM, they, the, the, they have uh, Marshawn back in the mix, Russell Wilson's a once-in-a-lifetime quarter, yeah. quarterback. You know, you, that's one thing. Now you got the Mariners, you got a baseball season starting. They are now. looking so good this year. There's a lot. You want to talk about bandwagon? Yeah. That bandwagon is loaded. Oh, right man. Now. Oh, yeah. Well, you got Felix. You got all these. But I mean, I'm talking about bad wagon. I saw Ken Griffey Jr. and Ken Griffey Sr. hit back to back home runs. Wow. I saw Bo Jackson come in on a Harley at the Kingdome for his 500th baseball game. Like, You're legit. I've, I've been going to games at the Kingdome and then, you know, and I've been begging them. Yes. Let me throw a first pitch. What do you mean you've been begging them? I, on Twitter for years, I, and, and it's been very nonchalant. And some people, some of my fans have gotten angry and I've said, You're blocked. Treat the Mariners with respect. Okay. But the Mariners have not even acknowledged that I'm a human. What's going on here? <laughs> They've had dirt bags throughout first pitches. Like literal bags of dirt? They, yeah. Or, okay. <laughs> I mean, probably. Like yeah. job. I mean, I don't know. They've had great people do it. But I just want to, I mean, who knows? Maybe one pitch and they think, we want to keep this guy on. Well, it, let me, speaking as somebody, I have thrown out a first pitch. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I did it at Dodger Stadium. And it is the most nerve-wracking thing I I've ever done. And I have done what you do for a living. I've done stand-up comedy. Mm -hmm. That is nothing compared to getting out on a mound, staring down a catcher. I'm ready for with it. With YouTube, rolling tape, everybody's got <laughs> oh, it, okay? God. And you've got to, you've got now, now, if there was a right-handed batter, I would have hit that person. Mm -hmm. If there was a left-handed batter, they would have swung a miss at the off-speed junk. How much... Workout that you put in a lot. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. You have to practice so I, I practice every day. I, here's what I'm willing to do I, <laughs> I, I, I am willing to do this. Mm -hmm. I am willing to go ahead and Put the full faith and credit of this program behind what? your Campaign to throw out a first pitch. Yes in Seattle. Okay. okay. We are gonna get the Mariners attention mm -hmm. Nick Thune is a human being Nick Thune is a I'm funny a human being. Yeah. Nick Thune has his own damn special on freaking Netflix. Well, okay? is, he bringing, is he bringing the heater or what? Well, you, no, you no, no. Here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing, though, Nick. You, if if we do this, you you have to you have to throw. Some. Oh, I've been working out. I swear to you. I and mean, you can't bounce like, it. You can't bounce no. it. And at first I was like, oh, I'll be funny and just go left-handed with it. No, 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 no. 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 And then I decided I'm going to go all the way right-handed, eyes closed, like every pitcher from does. From the mound, from yeah. the rubber. You can't you can't just you, you can't no. just step. Oh, and I'm not and I'm not starting on a side step. I'm starting like full on. No one's on base. I might check first, second, just to make sure. Okay. But you have to, because mm -hmm. again, we've just, we've sort of just met, and I can't, you know, I can't, I, I can't, you, I, I got can't have arm. you go out there. I have an arm. And okay. This might not, so in ninth grade, I went out for the uh, baseball team. Okay. You know, like junior high, I'm tall, sure. I'm long, I should. I've been playing first base in Little League, I might okay. as well. And the coach put me on JVB, which, if you don't know what JVB is, it's one level below junior varsity and one level above playing alone in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, but I later found out that it was technically called seventh grade basketball and is the only ninth grader on the team or bat baseball sure um, I really felt like a mentor to those kids, you know, and sure and um, They kind of made me the team captain. Okay, uh, mostly because they felt really bad for me But so you have the heart of a champion. Yes, what you're and that's just that's get me on the mound. Give me a okay. chance Yeah, All the right. first tweet that you threw out the Mariners came in August of 2012. Mm -hmm. There have been nine such tweets by Nick wow. begging the Mariners to let him throw out a and first pitch. And not a single response not from Not a at, single response. At, at, no, and I've gone Mariners? to Kevin Martinez. Yeah. I've gone straight at the GM. I've gone at multiple people very politely. I've made even a phone call to the front desk just saying, hey, <laughs> Who do I talk what are you to? In the front desk, <laughs> like a, of hotel of, 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 of hotel Safeco. Yeah, they've I mean, got people over there. I mean, they've got there's a there's a general hotline number, and apparently there isn't a first pitch department. All right, 
<laughs> you, need, you need assistance here. We're uh -huh. willing at this program to, to make this a okay. campaign uh -huh. to get you a first pitch. And you have, you have. And I will, I'll, you'll crush it. What number yeah. would you wear? It, given a choice. <sighs> Who's, whose number? I was going to say Mariner's 69, number? but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think okay, they, fine, I don't think they give out that number. No, what, what, well, who's no, no I'm probably who, going to go number one. You well, know? Whose number? I wore 23 well, for Mattingly. I w yeah, well, a little bit of me wants to go 24. Ken Griffey Jr. was a big part of my childhood. Uh, but now they, they don't give that number out. I don't no, think. they don't let people no, do I it. No, I don't think they They might let a no, young no. comedian out of, you know, Redmond, Washington. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they, but, 24. I need to put more thought into the number. You're right. Okay. I really do. Well, you have time, because mm -hmm. I don't know if they're going to, you know, act Maybe Jay on it Buhner's right away. Number. Jay Buhner's a good one. I met him one time in New York. I didn't, by meeting him, I mean, I was walking in Manhattan, mm -hmm. and Jay Buhner was walking towards me, and I just go, the bone! And I put my hand up. Oh, and no. He hit my hand with what felt like he used to throw from right field. <laughs> <laughs> it affected me for at least three days, like shoulder all the to, way down. But I thought it would be like the Dark Knight from Monty Python, that the whole thing would just come right <laughs> off. He just starts grabbing just a flesh wound. And he's just walking. And it's, <laughs> that makes sense. But Jay Buhner. Jay Buhner was a Yankee first. Yeah. I have to, you know, I well, we did a lot of trading. You know, yeah, we, sent you guys, we sent you Tino. Well, Tino was a good one, yeah. but the Ken Phelps for Jay Buhner trade. Yeah. The Tino, Edgar Tino, Martinez number well, two. Edgar Martinez. Yeah, that was a Yankee killer. The best of the first baseball. Variety. That guy. That's why he could hit for so long. He had yeah. eyes. Guys, he didn't have a glove. That's no. for sure. No. Hey, Nick. Thanks for coming in. Please come thanks back, for we'll, me. and we'll we'll we will have you back, and we're going to start the Nick Thune for first pitch for yeah. the Seattle Mariners campaign right now. It has started right now. I like it. He's going to come out. He's going to he's going to check uh, every base that doesn't have a human being on it. You're going to stare down mm -hmm. that that third I'm gonna take catcher. I'm going to throw off two signals from oh, the catcher. You're going to shake him off. Yeah. Oh, so you're going to really mm -hmm. you're going to bring it, and then you're going to throw a strike. Yeah, and I'm going to throw a uh, four fingered two seam fastball. <laughs> That's a special Nick Thune pitch we've never heard of before. <laughs> Go check out uh, Nick Thune Folk Hero uh, on Netflix, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep up to speed on what you're going to do here. Thank you, Rich. Okay, Nick Thune here is on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.